Choices of story tonight. Would you like to hear about Charlemagne? Okay, this is a, a review of it so you can get an idea. This is a fascinating book for young people and their elders. It tells the story of the evolution of man, I guess, over time, so outlining the different races and their origin. The story is told in clear, fresh, vigorous words and with a continuity that leads out of the purely scientific to the human and historical aspects, a book to be read thoughtfully and with an increasing interest and pleasure. A vivid and deeply important story. That's the Saturday Review of Literature. And um, the wheel on the school. Oh, mate, that's man's way. Wait a minute. This one's about 14-year-old Sigmund was looking for more books and learning when he came from the provinces to the big city of Aiken in the year 789. And in the palace school, a part of the court of Charlemagne, then plain Charles, king of the Franks, he found them, and he found encouragement too. But Sigmund also found intrigue and turmoil in this bustling city, and almost before he knew it, he was deeply and dangerously involved in the fight for Charlemagne against the plotters who hoped to overthrow him. The books had to be temporarily abandoned, but Sigmund found that there was much to be learned from experience, too. That in times like these, ideals and action must go hand in hand. In these months filled with dramatic adventure, Sigmund not only took a daring part in the bitter struggle, he also grew up. The vivid atmosphere and background that give such breathless immediacy to Sigmund's adventure story are the result of Mr. Andrew's long-standing interest in this exciting period when, as he puts it, civilization just squeaked through the dangers of the Dark Ages. He has read everything he could find that has survived from those years. And one summer he went to Europe and traveled all through the villages, towns, and countryside where the actual Sigmund in his story lived and fought and grew. So he got to know the world in which Sigmund had to make his dangerous way and how the boy felt about it. Finally, he put it down in this book with Sigmund. This thousand years later, his adventures in helping save a king's life and in finding himself. What do you think? What do you think of that? Do you want to hear this one? Or should we check another? You want to see the other ones? Hello? Sorry, it's muted. We want to see the one. Okay, cool. Chapter 1 The Fisher of Men. With sturdy strides. Oh, actually, wait a second. 
let me do this one by